is Rachel and today I am back in my B6 style Jeep. We are going to review the month of July. We'll see how that turned out in here. First of all, though, I just want to show you the state of my B6 style Jeep, I guess. Um, so, yeah, the cover, if I undo the um, elastic, this cover, by the way, I always get asked where it's from. It's from Naya Papery. This is the one that I have to use when she gets very chunky because the motums with the clasp and the Simply Girl with the clasp don't close. Um, but I have my elasticated one for when she gets super duper chunky. So, yeah, the cover, the actual Stalogy front and back page cover, this black one here, um, you can see what's happening here. So, if I turn over this... So this is my Lauren Phelps design cover and it's curling up. Can you see? It's, it's curling up here. I can push it so that it goes back in, but because it's so chunky, as soon as I do that and close it back up, it just rolls back there. That being said though, uh, there's nothing wrong with any of the pages. All the pages are still bound in nicely as well. I just thought I'd let you guys know that, just in case you were considering getting um, a Stalogy and you were wanting to know how it fared up if you were a big sort of sticker user like I am. Um, yeah, so it does, it does feel the... It does feel the brunt of having so many stickers in it, I suppose you'd say, but she does hold up quite well, I would say. So, let's move to my July cover pages then. Let's zoom you in a smidgeroony and we can have a little look. So, this is how I decorated my July cover page. These are the freebies from Josephine Bow Designs. Um, and also the vellum is from Josephine Bow Designs. I believe that's from the Dreamer Collection. The washi is Simply Gilded. There's something about this that I don't like. I love the printables. I love the vellum and I love the washi, but I don't like what I did with it. I don't know what I could have done different, but I feel like I just didn't love it as much as other months. And like I said, it's not the items that I used, it's the way that I used them. Maybe I could have put a bit of vellum in between or maybe the vellum that I used behind it should have been a different one because it was too similar to the principles. I don't know, but anyway, it doesn't matter. That's that's how it goes. I've got my tab, which is obviously my Josephine Bow Designs one. And then I loved how my monthly turned out. My monthly was using the Paper K washi strips, which were these and these. And then I had a Paper K deco sheet, which I also used, and also the numbers. I don't normally do the numbers on the uh, monthly in here, but I did, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So that was my monthly view. Then we have got my mood tracker, which was not too bad. Um, we had a bit of a ropey week last week, um, but I think the rest of it's not too bad. Um, and again, I love how that turned out. I've got this from Lauren Phelps Design that was gifted to me in Happy Mail. Um, and I've got my washi and another paper cake uh, little character. Then I have got my social media tracker. So over here is Instagram and over here is YouTube. We did 16 videos on YouTube. Uh, this month and most of them were planned with me so we had a couple of hauls and most of them were planned with me so I've not been buying new planners and things so I haven't had any unboxings to do I haven't got any collabs planned although I do um, I am talking to someone at the moment about doing a collab and we're just trying to iron out what we're going to do um, I guess I could call these flip throughs couldn't I maybe I should be calling these flip throughs these um, flips of the month but anyway Let's turn over then, we have got my sleep tracker. So again, that turned out perfectly fine. Um, I used a Tombow to mark the off. Did I remember to do it on my, I did. So it's a Tombow 373 is the color that I use this month. This is a freebie principle from Annie Plans. Um, and yeah, I think my sleep was all right. Six hours, seven hours, eight hours, not doing too bad at all. Then I just had a couple of videos that I had to put up. Um, I needed to film them quite quickly so I did use a sticky note. This sticky note is from Princess Honey and it's a printable. I printed it myself on my own um, little sticky notes that I got from Asda. Let me see if I've got them. There was, it's not many in it now, there was 400 and it was pink, yellow, green and blue and they were like a pound and they're really good for printing on. Um, and then I've got a July monthly there and I didn't end up doing anything on that. Ordinarily I would have used that as my uh, workout tracker but I ended up putting it on this page and actually even though I never wrote on it it turned out to be really functional because it was quite good uh, so if I needed to sometimes I don't fill this in um, and then I will have like a week's worth to fill in and I need to figure out which days were on weekdays and which days were on weekends because that makes a difference to what time we got up and it just helped me to figure that out so I found that really functional and I flipped to it in the month as well as I was using my weeklies just if I needed to see what day was where I did end up flipping to that as well then we have got my um, order tracker, my little page marker that I stole from Paige. I've ended up taking my tab off. Um, so this is just one of those, uh, do I have them? 
one of these but a bigger one one of these post-it note thingies i just take the color off using nail varnish remover and then i had two stickers from lace and whimsy which i just put over the side back to back and then i put sellotape over the top of it and i cut it out because when it was just paper it was ending up looking a bit messy but i'll just put that there for now because i've not got a use for it at the moment because i have got a tab for the week that's coming um this was just a bit of a notes page i needed to remember to do my pr orders and also i've got a couple of things that have been sent that i just wanted to keep track of and i wanted to know the exact date that they were sent just to see how long they got to me and then we are into the first month so i think this one was a kit from lily blossom designs the washi is from paper k i was still doing a day to a page on this um on this spread and i like it it's turned out well there were a couple of days when i didn't really do anything but it doesn't matter um i like how it turned out and then the next week we ended up using a kit from Princess Honey. This was the magic kit. I believe that's what this one is called. I kind of started doing sort of a little blurb of the day as well. Um, I'm not a big journaler. I would like to get into journaling. I do think that it would help me to process some of my thoughts and feelings. Because um, I've been quite open before about the fact that I'm a bit of a hider of my feelings. Um, I just won't deal with them. <laughs> I know it's not healthy. Do not do this. It's absolutely not a healthy coping mechanism. Um, but it's me and it's what I do. I kind of just push them to the side and put a brave face on and pretend that everything's all right. Because um, that's what I'm good at. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I did start doing a little bit of a blurb um, on there. And I quite like how it turned out. I'm going to try and keep up with it and maybe who knows maybe I'll get a little A6 Stalogy um, and use that as a journal at some point I'm, I'm, I need to have a think about that but anyway uh, so yeah this was still a day to a page and I really enjoyed how that turned out we had a nice double box there at the bottom which was really pretty and then moving on to the next week we used a kit from My Planning World I love this one I love all the colours of it I love all the washes that I got to use as well I got to bring some washes in and it looked gorgeous um, yeah, so this one turned out really nicely as well. That was when Paige broke up from school. So that means then we started the summer holidays here. We've got the weekend of that week. And then we've got the last week of July, which was this beautiful kit from CG Plans. This was a strawberry kit. Really pretty, such pretty colours. I just love how this Simply Gilded washi went perfectly with it. It was like it was meant to be. I got sent that in Happy Mail. I didn't know it was coming, so I hadn't sort of asked for a specific washi. And I needed more washi for this kit, and it just came at the same... It was just so perfect. It was like it was meant to be. But I think this kit is absolutely gorgeous. Did you see something exciting there? We could have a video coming soon. Not saying anymore. Uh, and then, yeah, we are moving on to the end of the week, which was just last Sunday. So I am on the ball filling this in. And then that brings us to my August setup. So, yeah, really happy with how the month turned out. Um, let's have a look at my forward log and see if I added anything to that. Because I do use that periodically in the month as well. Where are we? Here we go. We didn't add anything to it from... Um, oh, that got cancelled because at the time... Uh, he wasn't allowed as many people at the wedding and then we just had the dog groomer so yeah not much else to report but that was how july looked in my b6 allergy if you like this video if you can give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe i love you forever and i'll see you soon bye, bye.